And uh, don't expect me to use uh, three languages. I am not going to because I don't want to have a long ceremony. I want it to be short that we can go to the gym and have fun. <laughs> and we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, and the Lord of Jesus Christ be always with you. And My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery.
en reconnaître le pouvoir, bon Dieu son nom. Non, ça. Ça, c'est pas le bon Dieu que maintenant qui vient le pouvoir. Todas las cosas del cielo. 
cielo y de la tierra y darles la paz por medio de su sangre derramada en la cruz. Palabra de Dios. Como he dicho en inglés, no voy a usar otra lengua que inglés. No quiero haber una ceremonia que es larga. Quiero que celebramos aquí y irnos a usar en el auditorio. Vamos a decir en inglés o como es no. Pablo es un ceremonio que no. Si bien que a papá fue un colorante a inglés. 
Moi, je voulais qu'on ait pour nous finir ce cérémonie-là. Rendant louange et gloire à grand maître là et puis aller dans l'auditorium là et amuser nous. Bien, on prend le temps. Dieu Bishop Sansarik, Monseigneur Ferrer ici, Dieu Pasteurs, spécial des Pasteurs au Père Holy Cross, Brother Chris, Brother Deacon, distinguished great guests, people of God. It is an honor for me to be here with you today to celebrate God's love and to praise His holy name. This celebration is not about me, but it is only an opportunity to give thanks to God, the Almighty Father, who writes straight with a crooked light. It is also a way to offer glory and praise and honor to Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, the King of the world, our King and our Lord. God the Father created the human race in its diversity, not because he wanted to create a discrepancy or division among us, but he wanted us to complement one another. He crowned all he has done by making man and woman in his own image and put them in charge, saying, Fill the earth and with love and are protected. However, the first created beings lost control of their freedom and disobeyed God, and as a result, they were condemned and the whole of creation with them. However, God in His love and mercy did not give up on them and us, but has sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to redeem His creation and to save men and women of every race and nation. It is a redemptive presence and action of Jesus that we are celebrating each Sunday and that makes us People who believe, people who celebrate, and the people who live with hope. This celebration is about the will of God to care for us all, especially the Haitian people in the diaspora. It is about the origin, the genesis of a the Haitian religious community in the United States. Today, I feel blessed and honored to have been a part of such a great journey. It began with one faithful Catholic slave from Haiti, Pierre Toussaint. I consider him the first Haitian Catholic to immigrate to the United States. He came as a slave with his master's family in 1787, who were escaping the revolution of the slave in Haiti. He was one of the best hairdressers in the New York area. He made a lot of money. With the money that he made, he took care of his master's family and uh, he bought the freedom for many slaves while he himself was still a slave and he supported uh, many charitable institutions. Finally, shortly before the death of his master's wife, 
in 1807, he received his freedom. He was a small man in every sense, but uh, with a huge heart. He attended Mass every day and received communion. He died in 1853 and was declared venerable by Pope John Paul II in 1996. I am asking that you join me in prayer for his blessedness and his canonization under Pope Francis' leadership, if God is willing. The life of Pierre Dussin was the prelude, the dawn of what God will do for the Haitian immigrants much later in the United States. In the 60s, many Haitians were fleeing the Duvaliers with the infernal Julian Duvaliers regime, Papa Doc, to different parts of the world. Many of them ended up in the United States and mainly in the New York area. As the Haitian people were growing in number, the need to have a religious service for them became urgent. Some American priests started celebrating a mass for them at the centuries of Avila, and the people came from all over to attend mass. In 
the arrival of uh, the Haitian Holy Ghost Fathers, the Apostolate was in full bloom. I remember the meeting, the meeting that we had at our religious congregation and sisters in uh, Staten Island, where we chose Father Sansari as uh, the coordinator of the, the Haitian Apostolate. The Diocese of New York had at that time enough priests, enough Haitian priests to cover Nyack and the Spring Valley, so we did not have to travel to upstate anymore. In Brooklyn, the Jesuits had a, a Haitian mass at St. Ignatius. All the masses were celebrated at St. Matthew's, St. Augustine, Holy Cross, and uh, other parishes in the diocese. One significant thing happened at the beginning of uh, the, the Haitian Apostolate here in New York. A young man by the name of uh, Gerald Dumont entered the seminary and he became the first Haitian priest ordained for the Diocese of Brooklyn. Though at the beginning it looked like we had a uh, little Haitian churches within our parishes. Today, we have one pastor in every parish with masses in different languages. In short, this is what we celebrate today. This is what this celebration is about. It is about giving thanks to God the Father for working in miracles through humble and imperfect servants like us for the salvation of his people. It is about the selfless dedication of our many priests, American as well as Haitian, who work zealously for the unity of the people of God and for the expansion of uh, the Haitian ministry throughout the diocese. It is also about Father John P.C. and Father Robert Robinson, who were kind enough to accept me as a brother priest to serve and uh, collaborate with me in uh, this uh, parish of Holy Cross, where I was made pastor for the first time. It is mostly a thanksgiving celebration to God for the work that I, through His grace, Father John and I were able to accomplish here in the Holy Cross with our small resources. I thank God for putting on my way such a wonderful people and for using me to serve He's a people in the diocese for 40 years. To conclude, allow me to express my deepest gratitude to Bishop DiMarcio for supporting me during my ministry here in the diocese. He is facing a sad and a difficult moment now, now in his ministry. Let us pray for him. And let us ask God to the God of justice to vindicate him. Thank you, Bishop Sansarik. And my brother, brother priests and deacons for your honest and uh, frank collaboration and for your presence here today. I especially thank you, Monsignor Palagreca, for letting us use in your church for this celebration. And uh, to all of you who have come to this celebration, thank you and uh, may God bless you abundantly. Thanks to the people of Holy Cross, whom I serve 
and uh, with whom I worship for 12 years. I am grateful to all my friends and uh, my uh, family, members of my family, some of them have traveled from afar to be with me today. I appreciate it. Finally, I am very grateful to Father Ronnie Mendez and Father John Missy who will take the initiative to put this mass of our Thanksgiving together. May God bless you, your family, and your ministry. May God, who makes Jesus Christ King of the universe, continue to bless and protect us through the intercession of our venerable Pierre to sin. And may we, as a God's children and our church family, continue to grow in peace and harmony till we are all united in the kingdom of Christ. May God, who writes straight with a crooked, crooked lines, bless and I give peace to our beloved native country, Haiti, more than ever devastated by its own people's greed, corruption, and division. I urge all Haitians to work together in harmony for a better and a prosperous Haiti. May the God, may God bless America that welcomes all, and may He bless you all. Thank you. My sisters and brothers, giving thanks to God for all the blessing. And uh, since we are always uh, needy, uh, needy people, let us ask Him for even more for His blessing upon uh, us, upon our families, upon our country, the uh, United States, and uh, upon all those who need and recommend themselves through our prayer. The response is here.
Pedro mismo Nicolás y que todos los sacerdotes le sirvan como hombre de fe, de oración, de amor y de santidad. Roguemos al Señor. Thank you. 
offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace. He may accomplish the mysteries of our human redemption and then making all the created things subject to his rule. He may present to the mercy of our, your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are played. Amen. 
sacrifice of our reconciliation with way of Lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your freedom church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Nicholas our Bishop the other Bishop the other Bishop all the world entire people that have gained for your own. Listen graciously Lord to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, to the dear parents and grandparents of my senior daughters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing in this life, your kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, the Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Thank you. 
the name of God. Behold him who did so in the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Sono Christi ad maggioram Dei Gloria Tonus Tuus Amen